Hey guys, how's it going? Tears back again with episode number 7 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. And we've started the past two episodes with cup football in the Capital One Cup. This time around, we've got a Champions League tie. We are away to Olympiakos. Now, the Greeks and the Turks are the two uh, set of teams that are really not very nice to go to uh, away from. And the atmosphere is always very, very volatile. But uh, we got a decent result at home against Zenit St. Petersburg in the first group game, winning 2-0 with uh, two late goals. And uh, we were unfortunate to, uh, to give away a free kick. I thought actually Cole kind of fairly won the ball. He is coming from the side, but he does just steals the ball away from the uh, from the attacker there. And uh, the referee deemed that a foul. And as you can see, Oscar was also picked picked up an injury in the top right but that header could not have been placed any more perfectly if he tried it a thousand more times you'll see from the replay that it's just absolute perfection from Manolas it's Mitroglou with the free kick going to whip it in on his left foot Manolas is going to win the header in the box and there's just no way Petek is ever going to get near that in a million years there is just nothing you can do about goals like that and there was nothing we could do about this one either JT's just done for pace down the left hand side ball comes in Varane's marking isn't the best and uh, Mitroglu's free in the box to volley that one with his left foot right into the top left hand corner and we were up against it away in Greece right now Diego Costa's trying to work something on the edge of the box he's going to pop free to Ramirez he's going to set up Ashley Cole he's going to give it a whack with his left foot and that looks quite far away from that angle but when you see the replay it actually was a bit closer than uh, than first saw really good strike from Ashley couldn't hit that much more flush but uh, just flying past that top left hand corner and unfortunately we weren't able to get ourselves back in the game but I brought Scherler on and he was absolutely dogged at the front defending right from the front makes two tackles on attackers the rub from Diego Costa there is absolutely vital frees up the space for Scherler to cut inside with the outside of his right foot that is a devastating finish but you see Diego Costa just pulling the defender across with him to give Scherler the space to be able to get his shot away and that brought us back in it at 2-1 but unfortunately we weren't able to pick up another goal we are going to pick up a defeat from now on that's the first defeat we've had all season long so I uh, really wasn't very pleased with that whatsoever and we also get the news that Oscar's going to be out for four weeks with a sprained ankle so we needed something from the next Premier League game. We've got Norwich away. There are a few changes been made. A few uh, fresh players been brought in. Juan Mata and Fernando Torres have had a rest. Eden Hazard and Andre Scherler are starting in those wide slots. So there's definitely a lot of attacking intent in the team. And again, it's Scherler that's going to be the difference down this right-hand side. The first uh, first chance doesn't really do too well. The, the, uh, the chest and the foot control gets away from him. But he's he just doesn't give up. He's back there harassing the defender and whips in the ball and that's a fantastic headed finish from Fernando Torres he couldn't really miss five yards out right in front of the goal just put the ball into the back of the net straight through the goalkeeper no chance for John Ruddy there but Norwich were going to get a clear cut chance you cannot get much more clear cut than this Gary Hooper is going to strike the post it's Almander Johan Elmander is on the rebound and how is he missed that open goal I honestly have no idea. You see, it slows down. It's just right there. I don't know whether the pressure from Varane was enough on his shoulder to make him think he was going to get perhaps kicked in the head as he was diving in for that. And that kind of, uh, you know, knocked his concentration or whatever. But Yoam Almanda will be really, really disappointed with that. And I thought we'd got ourselves a two-goal lead here. Fernando Torres with another headed effort. But as you'll be able to see from the replay, he is clearly a couple of yards offside. And I can't really complain at that one. Although David Luiz is doing very, very well at the minute in that uh, holding role. Especially in this game. Creating chances. And he is going to score one of his own. Lovely ball across from Scherler. Brings it down on his chest. And he takes a crucial second touch. Just to settle himself as he's running into the box. You'll be able to see from the replay which is from behind the goal. The ball from Scherler is superb. And he brings it down on his chest. And that extra little touch there. Just to settle the ball in front of him. Right up for the shot. It's absolutely perfect. And we get that two goal lead we were after and Eden Hazard has been not necessarily chipping in with the goals you might like him to from that wide left slot so I was hoping for him to make a difference in this one he cut inside nicely there but wasn't quite able to find that far top corner so we went in at half time at 2-0 still decent uh, performance in the first half I was confident we were able to or going to be able to push on in the second and perhaps maybe even extend that lead but Eden Hazard is going to be involved down this left hand side plays in Fernando Torres lovely feet to get around one a really nice Maradona turn through the defender surely it's just a case of finishing it he does finish it in the end, although it would have been so much nicer if he could have finished that first time. He's absolutely world class with Fernando Torres, and that he's been making the difference for us. Of course, Samuel Eto not necessarily uh, chipping in with the goals until his injury, and now, of course, he's out for three months with a torn ligament or lateral collateral ligament damage, I think it was. But Czech pulls off a fantastic save there from the free kick from uh, from Robert Snodgrass. But we try our own free kick stuff. Andre Scherler strikes it from distance. It's the outside of the post coming ever closer to a fourth goal 
And uh, they're actually going to just hook it clear. But we're going to get another chance here. Andre Scherler again involved. Playing in Fernando Torres. Looking for his hat trick. He strikes the inside of the post. Can anyone get there on the rebound? They can't. The defender's able to hook it clear. I think it's Alexander Tete. But uh, nonetheless, that is how the game is going to end. We are going to take a three-goal three, three goal win. A three-nil win. Again, another clean sheet. Which, uh, after conceding two against Olympiacos, I think was crucial. Not only for, uh, for the team, but for my confidence levels as well. Playing with the team. Having my own confidence in the players that I've got on the pitch. So we're coming into the third game of the episode. It's another away game. We've got Everton away now. This time in the Premier League. If you remember in the last episode, we had them away in the Capital One Cup. We drew one all after 120 minutes and then beat them on penalties. But as you can see, we're fifth in the league. But a win can take us second on goal difference if we're able to pick one up. So we've obviously already drawn at, uh, at Everton already this season. <laughs> Diego Costa. Oh, I love that every single time I re-watch I, uh, re that. Go back and have a look at that again if you want. The ball the ball's crossed in. Diego Costa goes with the overhead kick. Gets nowhere near it whatsoever. And just flops on the floor in an absolute heap. But if you remember the first game against Everton that we mentioned. Uh, that game was absolutely riddled with chances. I think they had 15 shots. I had 10 in total. This game was the polar opposite of that. It was really scrappy. Not many good chances. That shot from Ramirez there didn't really dip quite in time to be able to sneak over the top of Howard Paps going in off the underside of the bar but David Luiz is going to be doing work again from that holding role just twisting and turning trying to find the opportunity Diego Costa plays in Lampard again I'm trying to find that far corner but uh, Lamps can't quite get the accuracy or the power behind it to cause Tim Howard much of a problem but Kevin De Bruyne is doing the work down this left hand side puts in a good cross and again it's just another poor effort from Diego Costa the header just doesn't have anything on it no direction no power and it's going to end nil nil we do take a point it's another clean sheet, but it would have been nice to pick up a victory from that one to build on the uh, on the decent form we'd come back to after being nice. But you can see from the stats, Everton not a single shot all game. That's how bad that game was. I only had five. You've seen the three that were on target. There was just nothing to speak about at all in that game. So we don't get the chance to move second. We actually drop points. And as you can see, we're sat sixth in the table after seven games. We've got a game in hand on Arsenal, who were a point ahead of us. But uh, we're only four points off the top of the table, which isn't that far away. And we also have Manchester City coming up in the next episode. A massive game. So do be sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already to make sure that you don't miss out on any Xbox One content specifically that next career mode episode we've got that big game top of the table class against Manchester City if you missed the previous episode there is an annotation on screen over the snippet of gameplay that you can see there to take you to that particular video and of course please do feel free to leave the video a like as well if you could be so kind guys that would be absolutely superb but that is going to bring this particular episode to a close so thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with another career mode episode